Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost it. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to- Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right, you'll need the password. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just... Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit... It does? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Now, time is of the essence. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf.
Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student... You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why... I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor! Yes, of course! All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Well, there's one for my diary. Ah! Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Whee! Professor Black, how are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, moustache paste. Yes, moustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. I Something is very wrong with <laughs> Professor, a word? Professor Black, again. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? The headmaster. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor. This is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Bloom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Bloom. 
And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Professor, a word, please. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fink. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fink some breathing room. Scrooge as hard a worker as any house elf. Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time, or ever. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> Oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. Uh, <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ah, <coughs> oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle.
Incendio. up to now. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's corpse things. Rebellion. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Lumos. Rebellion. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald? 
Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Just right. Right. Find me if I go up there. <sighs> this is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them.
Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. safe way forward. Now's my chance. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? But have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power.
You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self.
But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Rebellion. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacall. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous! What's more, 
She said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gox soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Rebellion. You are here. Rebellion. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Where could Archie have gone? If anything happens to him. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he never wanders far, but if he witnessed, I'm afraid to leave. Is there anything more? <sighs> he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. What reason? My husband had been looking into Harlow's... I begged him. We'll find your son. Thank you. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Harlow that we need. We will need something more. Rebellion. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! 
He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're Revelio. right. Revelio! Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. Take it! Good for you! Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio. Revelio! Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Rebellion. Arrest them. They not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. Rebellion. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. Rebellion! That complicates things a little. Uh. Kill yourself! No. 
don't think he saw it happen, do you? Of course he did. Rebellion. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Hello, Hamora. get away with it. Thank you. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that one. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure... I'm sorry again. Thank you. I can never repay... Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. Rebellion. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel.
Alle einfach nur. Hello, Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? See you again sometime. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. need to waste that, my friend.
Arrest over Mendel. Revelio. Wing, go! Well, how nice of you to stop by.
Nevada. Confirm them. I'll bury you in the deepest vault. Send them. Only following all. Nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ramrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient... These keepers are playing games with you. It doesn't work like that. To access... E they're showing me the memories. Ugh! Oh. Either they... Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. Why? <laughs> This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables, but it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Bombarder! You coast that! Take them! Do you take it out last me? Loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Astral's <laughs> overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. Wait, 
We should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. It's me. I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Grand Rock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Grand Rock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. All of a random rebellion has deserved the same fate. Nice work. Keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. Descender. Not quite. You can't stop Kufringo. You won't stop me. Get up, the you can do What are you doing? This must be it. Sebastian, wait, wait. For what? Ugh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said, Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing, to find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. Rebellion. How fitting. 
Bombarder. Descender. Sleep better tonight. Rebellion. Rebellion. These spiders are determined to live near us. I'm sure they taste better than a goblin dinner. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Revelio. Good for you. Bombarda. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. for runes. Rebellion. We've Bombarda. seen things like these Good before. Freedom. Bombarda. Good freedom. Bombarda. Good freedom. Journal entry. We should look for more. Why couldn't she have kept all her journal entries in one place? Send them. 
something. A journal entry. Isadora was here. Another barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Incendio! as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us here. Confringo! 
Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language. Rebellion. Right now. skill with ancient magic here. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Revelio! I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. Yeah. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. Find out. I cannot bring my brother back, Father, but I can give you peace. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing.
Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. <sighs> she took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? 